I'm back again. I have a Easter book ready to read. It's by Peanuts called Meet the Easter Beagle. It's almost Easter and Peppermint Patty is upset. She wants to show her friend Marcy how to color Easter eggs. But Marcy cooked all the eggs she bought. How can I teach Marcy how to color Easter eggs without any eggs to color? Peppermint Patty says to Charlie Brown and Sally. And I don't have any money to buy more. Linus overhears this conversation and tells Peppermint Patty and Marcy not to worry. You don't have to color any Easter eggs, he says. The Easter Beagle is going to take care of all of that. What do you mean, Marcy says. On Easter Sunday, the Easter Beagle gives beautifully color eggs to all the good little kids, Lina says. Did you hear that, sir? Marcy says to Peppermint Patty. We have nothing to worry about. I mean, really nothing. I wouldn't be so sure, Sally says. Sally remembers waiting with Linus on Halloween night for the Great Pumpkin to arrive. They waited all night and the Great Pumpkin never showed up. Even Linus' sister Lucy doesn't believe him. I'm not taking any chances, she says. I'm going to color Easter eggs and hide them myself and you know who's going to find them all oh, me i'm telling you you're wasting your time lina says the easter beagle is coming with color eggs for all of the kids keep dreaming little brother lucy says in the meantime i'll be hiding some eggs Marcy is really curious about the Easter Beagle, especially since it's her fault that she and Peppermint Patty have no eggs to color. What does the Easter Beagle look like? She asks Linus. What does the Easter Beagle look like? The Easter Beagle is always smiling and happy. He loves to dance. He'll probably dance right over to you as he Hands you your color Easter egg, Linus tells her. Don't listen to him, Marcy, Peppermint Patty says. Then she turns to Linus. Please stop telling my friends your wild stories, she says. But Linus stands his ground. The Easter Beagle is coming, he says. Just wait and see. It is finally Easter morning. Peppermint Patty and Marcy have been up for hours, but there's no Easter Beagle in sight. But wait! Just when everyone thinks Easter is ruined, the kids spot something. It's a Beagle, and he's smiling, and he's dancing, and has a big basket filled with colored eggs. It's him, Linus! It's the Easter Beagle! The Easter Beagle dances merrily over to Peppermint Patty and Marcy and Sally and Woodstock and Lucy and he gives them all the beautiful Easter eggs. But when the Easter Beagle gets to Charlie Brown, guess what happened? His basket was empty. Charlie Brown just shrugs his shoulders. It figures, he says. Lucy looks at her Easter egg. It looks awfully familiar. Hmm, I've seen that egg somewhere. Then she realizes it's one of the eggs she colored herself. Hmm, some Easter beagle. She says, he just gave me my own egg. She marches over to Snoopy's doghouse ready to fight with the Easter beagle. I know you took my Easter egg. Lucy shouts, what have you got to say for yourself? But the Easter Beagle surprises Lucy with a big old kiss. How 
can she stay mad at him now? Oh, that's, oh, that is the beagle. She sighs <sighs> happily. It was a wonderful Easter after all. The end. Happy Easter to everybody.